Hi, this is Dr. Tom McFadden of Advanced Cosmetic Surgery. We're here in Greenville, South Carolina. We do the full gamut of surgical and non-surgical cosmetic procedures here. And uh, let's see what video topic we're going to cover today. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, breast augmentation with fat transfer. Quite simply, uh, making the breast larger with fat as opposed to the traditional method of augmenting the breast with implants either above or below the muscle. We're augmenting the breast with a fat transfer and you can do it in various places. Okay, You can do it on the upper pole to give you more upper pole fullness. You can do it everywhere to give you more projection. Okay, You can do it in certain areas or between the breasts, if one breast is larger than another, and say the upper pole, the lower pole, the medial aspect or the lateral aspect, you can uh, inject some fat, okay? This is fat right through here, okay? And you can augment that and inject more fat through this area to give you whatever desired shape that you like. Really mostly people who need some modification of their current shape or the people who have uh, breast implants put in and need further refinement of the contours of uh, the borders. Uh, it's less practical for people to have an entire breast augmentation done if you have nothing, uh, you know, you're very flat chested and you want to have a normal C cup or a, a, a full C cup, by the time you get to the, the number of times that you need to do fat grafting, it becomes very impractical and very expensive. So that's those people are less good candidates. It still can be done, but it may not be worth your while. So what what is the safety of fat grafts uh, and breast augmentation? Uh, really the safety in injection uh, is not so much a concern. Uh, the, uh, the morbidity of harvesting the fat actually is much more of a concern. So uh, you can get more bleeding. You can actually uh, sometimes get some uh, vessel penetration uh, with the cannula uh, as you're harvesting fat. Uh, if it's done in a very gentle manner, uh, it's generally not a concern, um, but all in all, fat grafting, fat transfer is a very safe procedure. Generally, the fat is harvested from the lower abdomen or the lateral thighs. Uh, I think that in general, the fat quality is better in the lateral thighs, uh, but you want some good quality fat that holds up and is, has some substance to it. So what are the costs of fat grafting? In general, it can be as low as say about $1,000 to $1,200, but it really depends on what you need and how much you need. If you want to do a large volume fat transfer, it's obviously going to be a lot more money running into the thousands of dollars. On the day of surgery, you come in, um, we will prepare you for the operation or procedure. Uh, if you're getting general anesthesia, you'll go through our preoperative process. Uh, you'll meet with the, the nurse who'll be taking care of you. You'll meet with the uh, anesthesia person uh, and myself, of course. Then we'll take you to the operating room and we'll give you the anesthesia. And before you know it, it'll be all done. Recovery generally takes about a couple of weeks. It's mostly related to the swelling resolution from the harvest site. Uh, so wherever you're getting the fat from, uh, that's really what takes most of the time uh, to recover. The injection site or recipient site is usually uh, much better off than the donor site. Uh, but you'll get a little bit of swelling there too for a week or two. Uh, and then things will settle down. And depending upon how the fat survives, uh, you'll get a much better idea in a month or a couple of months about how you will eventually look. So how does fat transfer compare to implants for breast augmentation? And you can get very similar results, and I've seen that a number of times. Uh, the problem is that fat transfer is less reliable 
you can't always predict what you're going to get. Uh, you can and, and certainly some of the fat is going to survive, uh, is going to perish. Uh, not all of it will survive. So uh, the larger the volume of fat you put in, the less the chances of the fat graft survival. If you put in an implant, you know, silicone implants now can last 20 to 40 years, probably on an annualized rupture rate basis. Uh, fat grafts, obviously, if, even if successful and they, they regraft and get blood supply and survive, they wither with time, just as we all do. Thanks uh, for watching this video on fat graft and fat transfer and breast augmentation. Hope that you liked it. Uh, please like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and Hope to see you soon on some more videos.